Cairo's normally bustling streets. Eerily calm this morning after the military imposed a curfew. Many of these quiet streets, the site of deadly gun battles and violence that have rocked the capital over the last week. Nearly 1,000 people have been killed since Wednesday. Elsewhere in the country, mounting tensions and heightened security. In the Sinai Peninsula, suspected Islamist militants ambushed a convoy carrying off-duty policemen, killing 25 officers. Family members of 36 prisoners killed during clashes Sunday visited the makeshift morgue searching for answers. Meantime, the U.S. is considering suspending some aid to Egypt. We have not made a policy decision to put a blanket hold on economic support uh, on the Economic Support Fund ESF assistance. Um, clearly, that review is ongoing, as we've talked about in here uh, quite a bit. Uh, that review includes military assistance, security assistance, and it also includes economic assistance. EU members will also hold an emergency meeting to review cooperation with Egypt. News that former President Hosni Mubarak could be released later this week may do little to quell the unrest. He faces a retrial on charges relating to the deaths of hundreds of protesters during the 2011 uprising that led to his ouster. Rita Foley, the Associated Press.